That's where we're gonna be. We're gonna be spending the night up there at the Grand Hotel. going up to the Grand Hotel. You have arrived at your destination on the left. There it is. The Grand Hotel sits high up on Cleopatra Hill. It used to be a hospital. They said that about 9,000 people died here when it was a hospital. Pretty interesting. We have lucky room number 11 that we're staying in. Should be right up, point to it, right up there. I'm pretty excited about this. In just a minute, we're gonna take you inside the hotel and show you around. As you enter the lobby, Right when you go inside the lobby, there's this book on a bench and it's for the hotel guests to leave their comments and pictures and any experiences that they've had in the hotel. They said that the Jerome Grand Hotel is one of the most haunted buildings in Arizona. This is the original Otis Elevator. And the elevator mechanic died, he was crushed by the elevator and they said that his spirit, sometimes he plays tricks on you when you ride in the elevator. This is the oldest elevator in the state of Arizona. We're going to be taking the elevator. So you close it gently. And then you press and hold one. Just luck. Yay, we made it. <laughs> okay, the first thing we see when we walk in our room is this, picture worthy. Okay, this is our room number, room number 11, lucky 11. Very nice. We're gonna go out and do some exploring now and show you around the hotel. Stage. We're gonna take the stairs up to the second floor. You have to use your key. I read that the second floor is, used to be the women and children's floor when it was a hospital. Okay, so then we're gonna go to the third floor. The third floor is where they did most of the operations. the third floor in room 32 is supposed to be the most haunted room. Room 32 is where two men committed suicide. I'm trying to be really quiet when we go down the hallway because the hotel is full tonight and all these rooms have hotel guests in them. They said there's a 
Also, a ghost cat that's been seen here actually jumps on the bed and leaves an imprint on the bed covers. Okay, this is the end of the hall. quite a few ghost hunter groups in here already. I'm going to show you, the ghosts are, the ghosts are going to come after you. <laughs> yeah. You just wait. The ghost cat is going to jump on the The ghost cat's going to jump on the bed. Now all those stories he's going to snuggle up next to you during the night. I'm going to say, "Oh, he wants to snuggle." I just figured that I would ask Claude Harvey to come in and visit with us since my brother Phil worked for Otis Elevator and he was an elevator mechanic. And Claude Harvey, he was uh, worked on the elevators here, and this is an Otis elevator. So I just figured maybe he would come and talk to us. No, oh, don't look at me like that. <laughs> Are you filming me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Claude Harvey, if you have anything to say to us. Do you have anything to say to us, Claude? Is there anybody else that has anything to say to us? Well, let's not open this up to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I there's like, like 9,000 people yeah, died here in this hotel. You never know. You never know. Okay. Well guys, we finished spending a full night here in the Grand Hotel in Jerome, Arizona. I don't know what that was. I don't know why my, my phone is doing this. I was just saying we finished spending a full night here in the Grand Hotel in Jerome, Arizona, room 11. And the only noise we heard were our neighbors, but we still had fun time. But I don't know why my phone is getting light and dark, light and dark. So. I, I don't really know, have no explanation. <laughs> we had a really fun time though. We'll talk to you guys later.